Hello friends and crafters and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you decided to join me today as I want to share this project with you. Aren't these snowmen adorable? I just fell in love with this cute little box. It is a Sizzix die from Eileen Hull and I'm going to bring it closer here for you. And as you can see, I made this snowman here. It does come with this hat and a little different configuration on the little scarf that the snowman has. The number on this die is 664511 and it is one of the steel rule dies. So I'm going to bring it in closer for you to see. I have not put any candies in here. As you can see, it's kind of a elongated type of box. Now you could actually cut this and adhere your snowman on the back uh, and make it a little bit smaller, but this is the size that the die creates. And my idea was to put the snowball candy that you can get that's wrapped in foil. They're uh, different colors of green and red and silver and gold and blue on with foil. And I thought that would look really cute inside these snowmen because they're like sn chocolate snowballs. So of course that candy isn't out in the stores yet. So I will have to fill these at a different time, but I still wanted to share these in case you wanted to get a head start on your Christmas crafting. And as you can see here, I did my little snowman with buffalo black and red check for the little scarf and also for the little hat band. And he's adorable. I did use a Spellbinders die for this tiny little poinsettia that you see here on his hat. And you could actually use the little poinsettias that you can purchase at Hobby Lobby this year if you don't want to create your own. And then I used the Martha Stewart punch that is the little branch for the background on these little uh, greenery on the back of your poinsettia and I actually cut it in half so that I could fit the two pieces on there because this is a tiny and I just put a little silver or gold ball in the center and you can see on the side that I did layer this red and black checked paper on top of a card stock because I wanted it to be thick. And then I put a little snowflake from my stash. I think I got these snowflakes at Michael's a few years back. And the die does come with his little arms. And then it does come to create these buttons and the nose and the eyes. And I have a little heart punch that I cut on red glitter paper and then on the side I used a Martha Stewart punch uh, to give this a little bit more decoration and I cut for both sides on the snowman of course if you want to decorate the back you're welcome to do that for this project I did not but they came out so cute and they make really wonderful gifts I'd like to thank you all for joining me today it was awesome to have you guys all along. I really appreciate your comments and your thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so as it helps my channel. I would appreciate it so much. And until next time, crafters, happy crafting.